Tech fans, welcome back to the channel. I'm Elric, your host here on Tech of Tomorrow. We bring you all the tech all the time. Today's video, today's video is by a company called IC Doc. Now, this is their three-in-one backplane module. Now, what this thing does, it takes three of your devices and you can use them in your system totally hot swappable. So say that you have a motherboard that's hot swappable. This thing, it's totally sticking in your system connect it and you can remove your drives in and out if they go bad totally hot swappable just like some of the more expensive systems now icy doc they consider their products to be very premier high-end products the reason why all their products are very very well made they have a very high standard this product's got some really cool features like a little click button in the front you click the little switch you can engage or disengage the hard drive so you can have the hard drive showing up or not working at all depending on your choice so today we're going to do the unboxing and show you this thing so let's jump in and let's check out this new product from icy doc all right folks so here we have it the box IC Doc, www.icdoc.com. Trail is three and two SATA backplane module. Model number MB973SP-2B. You guys can see that's our express trailer setup. SATA 6, built-in USB 3.0 ports for external devices. Flip the box around, show you guys the side of the box. So here we go, we see the back of the box. You got, the, once again, the IC dock, the model number, user-friendly trailer's design for hot swap capability, support, SATA, six gigabit a second, durable aluminum body, adjustable fan speed controller, USB 3.0, all the basic specs, your material, the size, all that's all down here as you go down. Serial ATA, Gonna flip it around. Show you guys the last side of the box. This is the back of the unit they're showing you. The type of connectors. 80 millimeter fan that's replaceable. Let's bang it out now. So here on the top of the box, we don't need a knife or anything for this. Let's go ahead and pop the cap. And let's go ahead and remove the unit out of the box. Go ahead and take this stuff all out. Alrighty then. So, you guys see the unit all comes plastic wrapped on the external. We have all of the mounting screws and everything. Go ahead and set those down. We also have some of the power. Get this little sticky tape off me. It's sticking to me. You can see. Molex to say to power. Go ahead and set those down. One thing that these guys also told me is that none of their products usually require any type of screws or anything to get their drives to mount in the drives. I have a few of their other products and as we go through them, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So here's the front of the unit. There's a little switch. And these little things right here, you push them in and out. And as you push them in and out, they either engage or disengage the internal drive that you have in here. So if you click the top one, the drive will be working. You click the second one, or you can click them off and use them any way you want to. So they just open up. You guys can see internally. All you do is take a drive and slide it in here. All right, so here we have a drive, Western Digital, one terabyte black. You guys know this drive. It's the most commonly used damn gamer drive out there. So drive just is inserted into the, into the unit. And that's it. Simple. That was the installation of the drive to remove it. Just pull it out and it actually ejects the drive on its own. So put the drive in, put it in, close the door, nothing else to do. This slides into your system. So you have to use the bays obviously in a system. You'd open those bays up to put it in there. USB 3.0 right here in the front. Here's also down here, it's gonna be very hard to see, so I'm gonna to try to bring it up here and see if Cameron can get it. But right down here is the fan selector switch right here. High, low, and medium, it's gonna be very hard to see. But it's right there. Flip it around, show you guys the top. 
Just shows the IC dock and basically what the stuff is on the back. It's like an instruction guide that's on the unit. We'll flip it around, show you guys the back of the unit. Here is the connection for your USB 3.0. This is going to plug into your motherboard. Let me try to get this little bad boy out of here. So there you guys can see the USB 3.0 connectivity. Going to go ahead and, and plug that in. 80 millimeter fan, removable. Here are your three connectors inside of here for connecting your SATA. Two different types of fan connectors, three and two pin connectors. Then you have your two Molex, which are right here. And that's pretty much it. I mean, this thing's like having your own backplane in your computer. A lot of motherboards have the hot swap feature. You guys can see they just stick in your normal five and a quarter bays and away you go. So pretty cool. So there you guys have it. If a lot of you guys don't know what a backplane is, a backplane is like a lot of servers have these type of things. And it's where you have a drive in your system and you're going along and all of a sudden the drive fails and you're like, holy crap, I need to replace it. Well, in some cases you can't shut the system down. Think about if it's something that you're running and you got a business running, you don't want to screw somebody and have their business down. So hot swappable is really cool. You just take the drive out, Put another one in, it shifts the data around. Now this thing will also work with SATA or whatever, depending on how you configure it. So if you hook two of the drives up in here to the SATA connector, you can run them in RAID right from this box. Now, check it out. You guys hit that like button and you guys hit a thousand likes. Give me up to a thousand likes. I'll make sure that IC Doc sends one of these units out to some of you people for showing appreciation. So for me, make sure you hit that like button and then somebody will get some cool products because I actually want to hear from the people I give it to what you guys think about it. I think these products are really nifty. They want to get people to know about them. What better way to get people to know about them than for you to have it and to spread the gospel out on the social media circuit. So anyways, you guys, make sure you're always subscribed so we can see you here on the channel. I love you and we'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow.